All right. Hey, yeah, I just want to do a quick video on the hotel room. So, sorry, I kind of got my stuff everywhere, but uh, yeah, so this is what 1200 pesos gets you, and I'll convert that out because I don't know the US dollar price. But yeah, real simple, real small room, you know, nothing spectacular, but you know, not bad, definitely doable. You know, you got your air con, which is key. Uh, you know, that's important. Let's look at the bathroom here. You know, not a bad bathroom, Western style toilet. You get your shower, got a hot water heater up there. So yeah, I mean, you know, really not bad, not bad at all for 1200 pesos. It's really cheap. And uh, so here in Balambon, which is where I'm at, you know, you don't have a ton of options. Matter of fact, this might be the, the only hotel here and the internet is absolutely incredible. I think it's faster than what I have at home. I was, when I did a speed test, I think it was, um, I had like 80 down and like 60 up. So yeah, really, really incredible internet. Yeah, so let's see if we can get out and do a quick walk. Maybe go down to the market real quick too. Yeah, let's go check it out. All right. Make sure the door is locked. Lights off. Yeah, let's go down to the market. dark in here, what you'll see. Hello. Hey. Hi. Alright. Go and take a look. Okay, yeah, so here's out front, Villa Adela, and I think they're building on some more uh, next door here across the way, so yeah, not bad, you know, like 1,200 pesos, you know, air con and a shower, it does the trick. Yeah, let's walk down the street and see what we got. Oh, it looks like school money I got now. What time is it? It is 4 o'clock on Tuesday, 85, it looks like 85 degrees. Well, we'll take a look, see what we got going on. Yeah, so we are in the province of Balambang. So it's, uh, you know, definitely a small town. Hello, let's see, what was the population? I think somebody was telling me it's about 100,000. I'm busy. A little in it, a little hot, a little warm. Yeah, definitely you get a lot more attention out here as a foreigner. <laughs> Although, gosh, I met these two incredible guys, man. Um, it's really good guys. Yeah, Salama, Salama. Yeah, just really two great guys. Um, you know, just living awesome lives out here, you know. It's kind of pretty much by themselves. The only couple foreigners here, probably in town. There's probably four or five of them. You know, so just really cool. Yeah, it looks like school got out. All right, well, we'll peel through here. We'll get downtown. Go check out the market. See what we got. Yeah, we're... Probably gonna stand out here quite a bit, so. Hi. <laughs> yeah. When you're a foreigner in these types of towns, when you're out, you you kind of you poke out a little bit, which is fine. And you know, it's just it's you no know, nothing wrong with it, right? You're completely safe. You know, you just uh, people will notice you. Which, you know, I'll be honest, can be a little bit uncomfortable when you walk through everyone, everyone's staring at you. <laughs> but it's, you know, whatever. It's all right. It's part about being here. Yeah, it's been a little warm since we've been down here. I kind of feel like, so I come down here quite a bit, right? Oh, my fly's down. I come down here quite a bit, and uh, maybe that's why they were staring at me and my fly was down. <laughs> I come down here a little bit, and uh, 
I see a lot of people, hey, how's it going? We'll walk down through, we'll check out the market, see what's going on there. Hey guys. Oh, I was saying, I think I was saying anyways, the weather. I think it's a little bit hotter here than in Cebu. Like, they're like, like the mountains, I believe. You know, on this side of the mountains, they get, I think they get a little more rain, maybe a little bit warmer. I don't know, feels that way. Cross over with a local, I'm in doubt. I think we're good. Nah. Tell them <laughs> All right. So this is the uh, market area, the bus terminal. Got a lot of things down here like that. Sorry. Bus terminal, market area. Heck, they were even doing Zuma, Zuma down here one night. That was kind of cool. Um, yeah, let's go take a look. There's a uh, city building up here on the right, I think. Some government building. Okay. I don't think there's a, there is a hospital, but that's not it. Yeah, we'll go down this way. Check out the... Hi. Hi. Got kind of the markets and stuff. Hi. Yeah, these little multi cabs up here. So one of the gentlemen I was telling you, he's got a multi cab like this. Really incredible. You know, and they're affordable. I think he said he spent around uh, oh, it was around four four thousand dollars, two hundred thousand pesos, I believe it was. You know, which honestly, that's cheaper than my, that's cheaper than my motorcycle, you know, for a vehicle. And he said he loved it. He gets decent gas mileage. Well, where do we go? Fish market area. We'll check this out. Let's see what we got down here. Yeah, check it out. We got the fresh fish, got everything down here. Hello. Yeah, pretty, pretty busy. Lots of people. Hello. Hello. Bunch of fresh fish. All kinds of things to get, to market, pack the people. And, uh, hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this market just kind of goes on and on too, like a lot of them. You got your dried fish over here too. So Get your uka uka on the right up here. A bunch of clothes. I'll show you down here. A really good uh, barbecue place that we like to go to. Also, some food here. A bunch of fried chicken. It's not me. And this is your bus terminal. This is where you catch your bus, your V hires, all that stuff here. Really cool. You get your ticket up here, and then you just kind of wait. You know, get your ticket, and then you wait, and you're good. Yeah. Bus terminal. And yeah, this little, you know, this goes on like a lot of markets. So it just kind of goes on and on. Nice little park area over here too. I think that's schools. Basketball. Hello. Uh, here's a uh, Bonbon fire station right here. Ooh, it's kind of in it. A little bit hot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just really, uh, the small town of Balamban. Mm. Hi. Hi, afternoon. Welcome. Yeah, Salamat, Salamat. No, I'm just walking around. Yeah, thank you, thank you. What's that? Go there. Go down there? Yeah. Is it beautiful? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm just walking. Salamat, Salamat. Amphine. Amphine. Yeah, so cool. That's great people. Just kind of the main area of Balamban, you know. Not a lot to it. You know, I was talking to the gentlemen that live here. We met and chatted with them. They get up at six and then they're out shortly at, you know, whatever, nine o'clock or so. It's because everything shuts down and, you know, the sun sets here at six. And then, you know, everything, all the stores and stuff is, uh, they're closed pretty early. They're not open really late. You know, just a small, small, small province town. So if you're into that kind of thing, you know, there's a lot of them. And this is not far from Cebu City. You know, we're, hour, hour and a half bus ride over. You know, my buddy that I'm traveling with, Dan, he's considering moving here. 
know, he just, he's from the Carolinas and, uh, you know, he really likes that smaller town feel and just vibe. So he's, uh, he's considering moving here and you can get cheap places, really cheap places, inex um, inexpensive, barato, as they say. You know, um, the gentleman that uh, met, I think his place is what, I think 12,000 pesos per month, two bedroom. You know, just really inexpensive living. I mean, there's not a lot to do out here, but uh, you know, if if you're not worried about that, if you're just looking to, if you're just looking to live and live inexpensively and live like a country, you know, province life, then so many options for that. You know, really are. And this this is really close too. If you needed to get to the city, you know, for major medical, there is a hospital here. But if you needed to get to Cebu City for major medical, major medical stuff here. You're an hour away, so you know, not too bad. I think people may almost make a little bit of a bigger deal about the medical stuff here than they need to. You know, with being, you know, it's kind of like living in the country in the states. You know, you, it's not like you're you're on top of a five-star hospital there either. You know, you have to you have to kind of travel to the city to get maybe some made something done. Made, you know major health wise and no different here you know you if you're out here and you have something where you need major medical you might have to travel a little bit yeah so back around we're at the Balaman government office there city office big church straight ahead to walked by that earlier but I didn't point it out I this church is really beautiful I've been in there a couple times yeah so province life you know pretty nice pretty amazing pretty quiet laid back, simple, simple life. Hey, how's it going? You know, and for the two guys that I was mentioning earlier, I mean, man, you know, they're, they're having a life that uh, they're absolutely loving and enjoying. You know, probably a life that they wouldn't have in the United States, couldn't have in the United States in a lot of ways. They're living here for next to nothing. Yeah, so Mark, he's living on like, what do you say? I think like less than 300 US a month. We, you know, we talk about his uh, his reoccurring bills. Just absolutely incredible. The small studio uh, apartment. You know, he's got aircon and all that, so he's got electric. You, know? you can live dirt cheap, no question. It's just depending on what you, what you want to do and where you want to be. You know, you, you gotta for those kind of budgets. So you definitely you can't live in the city. You know, or I don't know about can. I guess right. I'm, but uh, definitely out here, you can live. You live a lot cheaper, no question. No question about that. Probably not a lot to do out here either. But, you know, if, if that's not your thing and just simple lifestyle and country living, there's a lot, so many options for that. I can uh, understand why, you know, Cebu City is kind of get to start off as a good, hey, a good starting point. You know, just kind of start off there, get in city, get, a, get adjusted. And then you can, uh, you know, you can go wherever. I'm kind of wore out. Like I said, the weather here I think is a little more, a little more intense. It feels 85 degrees, but I don't know for some reason for me the weather. Like I, in Cebu, I'm not really bothered by the heat and the temperature, but almost every time I come out here, I'm sweating. <laughs> I don't quite understand. I don't know why that is, but uh, I definitely notice the heat a lot more out here than I do back at home. So we'll see. All right. 